welcome to Mommy Duties! For today's video, I'm going to explain how I got Christopher to sleep through the night and how I got him to sleep on his own. Because of my last video of, um, I think it was Get to Know Me, yeah, I said that Christopher started to sleep on his own at three months. And a lot of people were like, what? How did you do that? So here are just my tips and tricks. But first, let's do word of the day. The word we're going to learn today is boy. In Spanish, we say niño. And in sign language, you're going to have a puppet, bring it to your temple, have the mouth open, and then gradually close it. Boy. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So when Christopher was three months, I decided that I wanted him to learn how to sleep on his own in his crib. And a lot of you might be thinking, that's crazy! How do you get a three-month-old sleeping on his own? And my room is right next door, like literally two steps away. I had a monitor, so I would always have a watch on him. But I have done it differently if he was across like a hallway, maybe. I probably would have waited. So that's the only reason why I started so early was because he was right next door to my room. If you know that your baby's safe and you're right next door and you have a baby monitor, this is a check. Practice more nap time during the day because if you do this at night, that's kind of scary and they're not used to it. So that's going to be like putting them in cold water for the first time, you know what I mean? Have a routine. What I mean by that is have key words signaling, hey, it's nap time. So you can say nap time or you can say night night. <laughs> You want to go night night? It triggers in their mind like, hey, okay, I'm to prepare my body to go to sleep. What I used to do was uh, change his diaper. I gave him his milk warm, read him a book. And I would also say a keyword. So those were four things, right? Yeah. That I did so that he knew that it was almost nap time. Boldy locks. What that means is make sure it's not too cold, not too hot in their room. Make sure that the temperature is right. Another thing is that they can't be too full or too hungry before going to sleep. So they have to be right satisfied. Patient. And I say this because baby is going to cry. So you need to be strong and be patient and be okay with the cry out method. And what that is, is you let baby cry until they eventually fall asleep. Experts say it's okay for baby to cry. Only if you know that their diaper is clean, that their tummy is satisfied, that temperature is okay. That's when you know, okay, baby's just crying because they want you to rock them until they go to sleep. And I know we have that motherly instinct. We're like, what is wrong? I need to rush in there and... And that's not going to help at all. Baby to sleep when he's just drowsy. Not too awake, like he's hyper and not asleep. Making sure that they're really sleepy and when they hit the crib, they're just going to be like, Okay, I just want to go to sleep. So the first day, I was like, okay, I'm ready for this. I'm set. I have my mindset, he's going to cry. I know he's going to cry, but I have to be strong. So I did everything and placed him in his crib. He was like, what is happening? He's placing me in the crib. I'm just wide awake. And I stepped out, closed the door, and you guessed it, he cried. He cried for 30 minutes probably the first day. If he kept crying after 10 minutes, I would go in, reassure him that he's okay, I'm here. Just let him know that you're there and that you're not neglecting him. Leave, close the door. If they're still crying another 10 minutes, go back in and reassure them. And if he's continued to cry, I would go every 10 minutes until he fell asleep. The second day, same thing, he cried for 30 minutes, but instead of 10 minutes, I would go in after 12 to 15 minutes. And at the end of that week, he was self-soothing himself. And after a certain amount of time, they'll get the idea that, hey, okay, I have to do it myself. So the second week, I did the same thing, and it was easier the second week. Of course, he whined, but he wouldn't do it more than two to three minutes. So six months, that's when I made him to sleep all through the night. Since he got the nap part down, I had confidence that he would be okay with sleeping through the the night he learned how to self-soothe himself so that was a big plus for me let's say he would sleep five hours and then start whining and crying I would give him 10 minutes and if he continued to cry then I would go in but I wouldn't immediately go in and he would just cry for like literally 15 seconds and then go back to sleep and then after that he learned that uh, I'm not gonna rush in all the time so he just slept through the whole night all right that's how I got Christopher to sleep on his own in his own room and sleep through the night I hope you guys found it helpful good luck don't worry, eventually they'll sleep all through the night and you have a weight off your shoulders. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!